The selection is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden. Fighting for our family, as I just watched an ad about how you should be able to delete your babies. All right, yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be watching Burn by, by, by Joe Biden. It's called Burn Biden Harris 2024 campaign ad. All right, this is going to be legit, guys. I'm so pumped to watch this right now. It's only 30 seconds, so this ain't going to be a long video, but I was watching some other stuff, and I had to see this because I saw a clip, and I was like, how is Biden able to even say this? So let's get into this. It looks like there's a fire at the Capitol. So he's probably going to blame Trump for everything. Let's take a look at this. Oh, whoops. On January 6th, Donald Trump lit a fire in this country. 140 officers were injured. The siege lasted for seven hours. Stop. That was a sad day. Terrible day. Stoking the flames of division and hate. Now he's pouring gasoline. They were unbelievable. It's not... Trump's fault that people did that. Everyone knows that. It's common sense. You can't... Okay. That's like saying... Um, that's like convicting someone of... A, um, okay. Situation. S man says, You're a bleepity bleep 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 bleep. Dude punches him in the face. That's assault. Words don't have cause for assault. It, that's like putting this guy that said you're a bleep did a bleep 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 in jail for getting causing this guy to commit assault because of his words no the the actions don't they're not equal so common sense Patriots. pledging to pardon the extremist who tried to overthrow our government we will give them pardons inciting them to try again there is nothing more sacred than our democracy but donald trump's ready to burn it all down i'm joe biden and i approve this message dang look at because joe 54 he's throwing the heat bro he is throwing the heat is this another one 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. In 2016, Donald Trump ran to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, in 2024, he's running to pass a national ban on a woman's right to choose. On a woman's right to choose to delete a baby. Nope. No thanks. Um, I'm in full support of making it illegal. That's great. Yeah, I think that... Um, the right to life is a basic human right, and we shouldn't be um, deleting babies. And yeah, that's not that's just not okay. Trying to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I know many women that have had abortions, and they all regret it. Every last one of them, every single one of them I know regrets it. Hurt their body, my. Okay, it, it, it hurts their body. They regret it. It gives them least, they are less likely to be able to have children later. It damages their body. Like, what? Let's ban cigarettes too. Let's, let's make a bunch of stuff illegal that's just stupid. That's idiotic and dumb. I do. I you want to ban, ban the wrong things and approve the... the you want to, yeah, ban the wrong things and approve the wrong things. That's how I see this. I want to ban guns. Let's not have self-defense. But let's let people delete babies. What? What? I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. This world is so backwards. How is this guy the president, bro? I, I didn't pay too much to politics. I paid too much attention to politics. But this is just... Ah, uh, this is why, because man, it just makes me so mad. Let's look at Joe Biden's well, page. What else he got? In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been and look at his support, because it looks like it's a bunch of poop. Working. He looks like he's been set up. They're they're creating a martyr. That's what they're doing. Like, they just need—they just need to shut up. 
Like, this is not helping his campaign. Do they not get it? He's not losing supporters because of this. Lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden. Fighting for our family. As I just watched an ad about how you should be able to delete your babies. Let me listen to that again. Who's only out for himself. Only out for himself. Only out for himself. Why does he need to be president? Why? I think that's why he's appealing. That makes no stinking sense. It makes no sense. He's rich. He has everything he needs. More money than he knows what to do with. And he takes no money. The money that he gets from being president is this big compared to his checks he gets from the businesses that he's created. What? Yeah, there's a power trip maybe. Maybe he need, he likes power. But he did a pretty darn good job last time. From what I remember, I was very I was even younger than I am now. What is it? 8 years ago now that it started? Uh and I was just I was starting a family and all that stuff. Life was a lot easier. Bills are way harder now under Biden's uh government rule, whatever you want to call it. Over his governance. I don't know what the word is. Okay? Not trying to be the smartest guy out there, but it's just common sense, dude. And a president who's fighting for your family. Fighting for my family. I just, after literally just watching, hey, let's delete babies. Let's make Roe v. Wade the, the law of the land. <laughs> it's such hypocrisy, dude. I literally can't even keep a straight face. I would rather have. 34 felony convicted with good policies than a blatant liar who can't even see his lies. How can he say that? Is that a church? Like, no, dude. No. It just makes me so mad. Makes my blood boil a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I literally just watched, I want to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land. <laughs> and a man who fights. And a president who's fighting for your family. And disrespects him. So a little. Who's only out for himself. He's still a president. Self. And a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden. And he's going to lose so bad, bro. This is how the debate's going to go. You guys, he's a convicted felon. And liable for sexual assault and blah, blah, blah. And then he'll have nothing else to say and his meds are going to wear off and he's going to be exhausted. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be insultive. It's just how it's going to go. And then he's going to start. <laughs> and then Trump's going to be like, all you have to do is this. Really? Really? <laughs> That's all he's going to have to do. Oh, man. This is going to be either that he's going to pull out of this debate last minute or he's got to shoot up some vitamin B's um, to get pumped up for this thing. Because I don't I don't see this going too well for Biden. I don't know who's whose idea. It makes me feel like a setup. Like it makes me it makes me feel like they want president to actually I mean, they want Trump to be the president because like, why would he do this? I really don't get it. Just campaign. Make these ads. I feel like this is more this will this will do more for you than getting on stage with Trump like people are gonna go and watch this millions I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be the biggest event I feel like because I I don't see how Biden's gonna do well like I, I'm trying to imagine it I just watched a video I don't know if it was in this video I was recording a few videos today he was saying two more elected two more elected officials I can't remember what what it was supreme court electives or something like that he was like two more and he's holding up three fingers and i'm like and that was a highlight of their conversation and i'm like we can't even get a good highlight reel on this guy i'm either they made an ai version of biden that they're going to send out there they're going to shoot him up with vitamin b or they're going to have uh this girl Harris 
shooting him lines through an in-ear monitor and uh, letting him know what to say. I have, I have no clue. Or if someone's going to be typing the responses, and he could read it off a prompter. I, I wish I could tell you how it's going to go down. But I really do feel it's going to start out. This is the beginning. In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault. Yep. And he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, bam, that's his whole, that's going to be his whole thing the entire time. Every time Trump says something about a policy, he's going to be like, but you're a fight. You've been committed. You've committed financial fraud, but you've been, you've been liable for sexual assault, but you've been convicted of 34 felonies. Literally nobody cares. Literally, like I haven't met one person that actually cares about this. Comment down below if you do. I mean, like, I I don't like it that you know these things are. This would be a president, but if this is the place that we're at, this should speak volumes to where we're at. People, people would rather forty nine percent of the voters are for Trump and fifty percent are for Biden. That's very clear division. The country wants a convicted felon. Over this man who... Wait, what'd they say? And a president who's fighting for your family. Do you feel like he's fighting for your family? I don't. 